What's up everybody? Hopefully this video finds you well. Uh, we are in spring, which is nice. I did the first lawn mow of the season, which is terribly interesting, I'm sure, to all of you. <laughs> but no, it's, it's, it's nice. Ohio has been very weird lately. We had a good stretch of weather and then it got cold again and then uh, feels like we're turning a corner. So that's been very nice. And I almost uh, didn't even make this video today because I, I was attacked. Attacked by, by an eyelash. And by attacked I meant I somehow got an eyelash in my eye and it hurt really bad. <laughs> I don't know. Touched my eye. You gotta learn your lesson. Don't touch your eyes. All right. In all the eye touching I do, just don't touch your eyes. No, but it was it was uh, it took a while to to correct that. So that was a lot of fun. A lot of fun stuff going on today. So <laughs> the other thing you might notice is that this is uh, Tuesday for you. I'm recording this on Sunday, but. <sighs> I wanted to make, I don't know, I want to shake some things up a little bit. Um, so th this video, by the way, as you would have seen by the title, because you're all very smart individuals, uh, I'm going to read and react to some comments and then uh, some, some updates. So I want to shake some things up a little bit. I am at the point right now where, uh, I don't know, just want to do some different stuff. And, you know, honestly, I've been getting some really weird stuff coming across my, my proverbial desk lately. Um, so I have a couple of video ideas that I think are interesting or should be interesting or at least helpful. And I think that that's what I'm going to do. And it's either going to be Tuesday or Thursday. I'm going to try Tuesday, maybe, maybe Thursday. I don't know. I'm still deciding on that. Whatever you guys, I mean, if you guys want to pitch in and say Tuesday or Thursday in the comments, go for it. That's cool. Um, but a couple of different factors in here and in the sort of spirit of, of transparency and so forth. So I've been really bored uh, throughout this whole pandemic thing. And part of the way that I have filled my boredom, and I got to tell you, like filling, filling, that particular boredom void for me is is a task because like I'm I'm the kind of person that I have to have things going on in order for me to function normally like at work I, anyway I'm not gonna go into all that but um, you know not being able to see friends and so forth and and there's still a lot of fear e even when people are vaccinated and I have. I have no strong opinions about that. I don't want to no no any none of that COVID stuff in the comments. Don't want to talk about it. But I do know that there's been a lot of fear and disapprobation, and and uh, I haven't been able to see many of my friends either, um, which is kind of sad. You know, last year was supposed to be a travel year. I was gonna. I had. Um, I had basically everything booked for California later in the year. Uh, we were planning a Florida trip and I was going to, if I couldn't get anybody to go, I was going to take a solo trip to Gettysburg um, because it's Gettysburg. Um, and then among some other stuff, backpacking and so forth. But unfortunately, a lot of that, if well, all of that got postponed. And then we roll into 2021 and it is May and we're still dealing with a lot of the same stuff. So although there is some openings for things, there's still, again, there's still that disapprobation and it's, it's tough. It's tough for me because I got to do stuff, man. Um, so I dived a lot into my hobbies. Uh, music really was very helpful. I built two guitars. 
I played with every guitar pedal I could get my hands on. I bought and sold a ton of pedals. <laughs> Re Reverb, uh, Reverb.com really had a fun time, uh, fun time with me, or I had a fun time with them. And anyway, um, so yeah, it was it was good to to engage in the music and and have a lot of fun with that. And then obviously this channel, you know, doing five and sometimes more videos a week. Uh, I think was lethargic for a lot of things or, uh, or cathartic, not lethargic. That's lazy cathartic. It was cathartic, uh, <laughs> for me to do those. And, and I think, you know, most people liked them. Granted, there were some people that didn't really care for some of the videos. Maybe it's like, well, I'm only here to watch the rations. I'm, I'm only going to watch coffee. I, well, I don't care what you watch, watch whatever you want. It's free entertainment. Um, and I enjoy putting it out. Uh, but, you know, I mean, it, all of that does cost money. It's not like people are banging down my door to sponsor the channel, which is fine. I don't really care about that. Um, a little bit of money comes in from the AdSense that you guys um, that you guys watch the ads. I mean, we all know about YouTube ads. And coincidentally, one of the comments I had here from the last reaction video, uh, comment reaction video was, uh, oh, where did it go? There's 14 ads in this video, ouchie. And you're right, uh, <laughs> Sunshine Side of Life 77, absolutely that's an ouchie. I don't set ads. I mean, I don't set the frequency of ads. I don't set where they're placed. I just turn it on and I let YouTube do its thing. That video was like 47 minutes long. Sometimes those really long videos they do that with, I hope you didn't have to watch 14 vid or uh, whatever 14 ads, and if you did, that's dedication, and I'd love to give you a high five. But <laughs> don't don't watch 14 ads. Don't do that. That's nuts. Um, but yeah, I, the, the ad revenue is is not it's not very much, um, but it does pay for a reasonable amount of the stuff that I buy for the channel. And like, there's there's a ton of stuff that I have in reserve because I'm a planner and I don't want to be caught off guard. So there's a lot of stuff that I've got that you haven't seen yet and you will, but you haven't seen it yet. Um, I mean, just look at the, the snack videos. I mean, I have a bowl full of snacks that you haven't seen yet. And, uh, eventually we will get through them all or they'll all go bad. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, it all costs money. So, I, and I'm not complaining about it. it. It's not a big deal. But what, I, what I'm considering is kind of what I want to keep and what I want to tweak. Um, I think the coffee videos are really fun. Although, I will say this. If you want to help me out, drop me some solid, uh, some solid suggestions in the comments below. I am sort of running out of coffees uh, without going into like... I, listen, I'm not doing like ground Folgers or Maxwell House off of the shelf of your grocery store. I'm not doing it. First of all, because they're not very good coffees and unless it's like some special edition thing, I'm just not doing it. It's not interesting to me. I did find one brand though that is, uh, that's out of uh, Columbus, Ohio that has a lot of interesting flavors and they do have a sample pack. So I'm thinking I'm going to get that. We'll see, but I'm thinking I'm going to get that. But there are coffees I'd love to try, but they're so darn expensive. Like um, one of the ones that I, I, I know a buddy of mine, uh, Lane from uh, an unexpected podcast, Talk and Tolkien. Make sure to check them out, by the way. I've mentioned before, I've worn the shirts. You guys know, but they're good guys. Um, he had suggested the Townsend's. If you know the the Townsend's channel, which is like you know old timey 18th century stuff, well they have a coffee that I guess they they bring in and they roast themselves and you know you get a little nutmeg grater and so forth. Um, and I've been watching their channel for a long time, but it's like twenty three dollars, and I don't really want to spend that much on a. I, I assume it's a pound maybe of coffee. I'm not sure. And I know I've had suggestions like uh, top of the morning. That was one. Uh, they're a bit pricey too. Uh, I'm not saying I won't do it. I'm just saying, I don't know. 
I don't know what I'm saying. I'm, it's crazy. But um, yeah, I want to get value. I don't, I don't want to spend a ton on, on a lot of this stuff if it's going to be bad. And the other thing too is, is that, I mean, I'm, even though I have a lot of coffee videos, I'm not like the biggest coffee drinker. Uh, my main go-to coffee, well, actually for the past you know month or so, it's been, I've shifted between day-to-day, -day, like Bombadil's Blend and Goldberry's Blend from Goldberry Roasting Company. I think that's what they're called. I think that's their full name. Anyway. They're out of Ashland, Ohio, and I really like those coffees. So I've been uh, I've been pounding those, but like Starbucks Mocha Blend has always sort of been like my just normal go-to coffee. Six ninety nine a bag. It's ground, but six ninety nine a bag at any Kroger. So I'm not typically drinking thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen dollar bag coffees, <laughs> you know. Um, but yeah, I've, I've pretty much I think I have. I, I, I rechecked a lot. Of, I actually reorganized my uh, ration closet. And I did find one more Dr. Bean and one more um, Bones Coffee Company. Uh, so I have two of those left. Uh, you know, Dr. Bean's a great brand. They're out of Chicago. They're, yeah, they're out of Chicago. Pretty sure. Um, but we've been doing them periodically. Obviously there's been a lot of Bones Coffee Company because I was just interested in their flavors, but you know, I, I've had a lot of them and I, I probably, unless there's something that's really intriguing, I probably won't go back, uh, to that particular well, at least not for a while. Um, so yeah, I am looking for some interesting stuff and I do have, I, I probably have like four more. So that's like a month. A month worth, um, and then I gotta find some other stuff. So suggestions, comments would be would be great. Hot sauces. I still have so many hot sauces. Um, I did have some questions about like, okay, so you do all these hot sauce videos. Like, do you have a like a, a fridge full of hot sauces? Um, yes and no. I actually do use them. One of my uh, one of my afternoon snacks that I I really kind of enjoy is I will take a couple of um, corn tortillas and I will put them in my griddle on my griddle put a little cheese in it make little corn tortilla uh, quesadillas basically and then I have a dipping sauce <clears throat> well the dipping sauce always contains whatever hot sauce I have so it's constantly a changing flavored sauce it's like uh, I mean it's I don't know I guess somebody might be interested it's not all that interesting but Essentially, it's like a little bit of barbecue sauce. It's, it's like barbecue sauce, more hot sauce, and a little bit of water to make it kind of thin. It's nothing special, but it's just it's just what I like to dip my little tiny quesadillas in. Uh, in. But whatever hot sauce I have, I use it until it's gone. And, and that it does last for a while, but I'm cycling through because, um, what was it? I guess now, to be honest, it's been uh, two months ago. I sat down and did like 10, 10 reviews in, in a day or something like that. They don't take that long to do, but I, I pounded through like 10 of them. <clears throat> so I'm just now coming to the point where I think I still have a couple more in the folder, but I probably need to start thinking about doing some more videos and so forth. And I've got, I know for sure I have four hot sauces locked and loaded which coincidentally I didn't grab them but um, a special thank you let me actually see if I can find the uh, <clears throat> find the um, the email because I, I got an I got an email and I was super uh, super duper happy I, I might have deleted it uh, it's very possible I, I deleted it let me actually see see if I can <laughs> oh that's that's that doesn't help me at all um, but anyway, oh yeah, here we go. I, I did. I didn't delete it. Um, okay, it's not in here. But basically, this is. Uh, the, uh, I don't remember the full username. Apologize. First name of the username is Zed, but it's uh, it's Kristen and, and her partner, and um, they both have a favorite hot sauce. Uh, her favorite hot sauce is the Orange Kush. I remember the name of that, and then. Her partner's hot sauce, uh, favorite hot sauce. His hot sauce is um, uh, shit the bed. That's I think that's what it's called. Excuse the cursing, but it is the name of the the sauce. It's an Australian sauce. Comes in a really cool bottle. 
So I'm looking forward to trying those and I will, I did receive them if you're watching and I will uh, get those in the rotation here before too long. And actually another helpful email here, uh, I'll bring this up as well. Yeah, here we go. So I, I had a, um, a viewer, uh, just first name Linda, and she wanted to contact me about the Nomad Nutrition Rations. You know, we've done a couple of those, the, the Borscht and the, um, I don't remember what all I've put out. I remember I definitely put that one out and maybe the Canadian Barley. Uh, that one might not be out yet. I might have that in the folder. Uh, anyway, I've done two, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I've done two. But anyway, she had uh, brought up, and I didn't know this because where I bought those from, garagegrowngear.com, they didn't say it on the site, at least not at the time. But the rations that I got, the particular packs, were their Nomad snack size. So it's, it's, a, smaller, it's a smaller size. And there were some comments, I guess, that were saying, you know, oh, it's only so-and-so calories. It's only 250 calories. Well, yeah, I mean, I get that. But they do make bigger, bigger rations of those. So if you want a bigger ration, they have them. Um, she just wanted to point out that those were the snack size and I wasn't aware. So I'm making you aware now. Um, but at any rate, I actually like the snack size personally because I'm not somebody who likes to sit down to big meals in general and I definitely don't want to do that when I'm on the trail. I, I don't like big meals on the trail. So those smaller meals work very much for me. Um, and honestly, and this is something that I want to talk about in a future video, so I'm not going to go on about it too much now. There are a lot of people out there whose eyes are far too big for their stomach when it comes to ration food. Because if you were actually having to live on ration food, you have to ration, which means you are not potentially eating as much as you normally would in order to get through whatever you're doing that for. So at any rate, we'll talk about that at a later time. So, But just, just a little bit more from it, uh, Linda. I've been using these meals exclusively from the, get, the beginning. They've been uh, plentiful, full days backpacking, weather, uh, day trips, you know, all that, you name it. Uh, for some reason... Uh, Oh, I guess she wasn't able to actually add a comment to the video. Sorry about that. I don't know what's up with that. Um, but yeah, she just wanted to make sure that I gave credit, proper credit to Nomad. Um, so yeah, no, I, I totally get that. I appreciate the, the email. Um, I understand. But yeah, it, it, I don't even think the bags say snack size. But I did go on to Nomad's site and they do say that on their site. So you know, prop, credit where credit's due. So thank you for pointing that out. Uh, one more thing, not really from the emails, but, uh, you know, from the emails. <laughs> I do have an order on the way, and I was hoping it would be here before now, but it should be here maybe Tuesday. So the video for one of those won't be next this week, but it'll be next week by your time window of when you're viewing this. So Peak Refuel, and there have been some people in the comments that have dogged Peak Refuel, the brand, because their, their rations are like $12.99 a pop. And I mean, is that on the expensive side? That's a, probably another video I have to explain because honestly, it's not really right now. Uh, gone are the days of cheap mountain house rations in the stores. And here's actually a thing about those cheaper mountain house, mountain house rations that were in like Walmart those were single serving. So anyway, but those have definitely rose in price and they got rid of the single servings, only double servings and they've, they're more expensive. But anyway, so I have two coming from Peak Refuel. One of them is, uh, oh, one of them's exciting to me uh, and it's biscuits and sausage gravy. The reason that is interesting to me and exciting to me is because I have always loved the Mountain House biscuits and gravy. It's one of the best, if not the best, breakfast ration out there and Mountain House, you know, knocks it out of the park. It's so good. And then I also bought a chicken coconut curry. I'm continuing to try and find an Indian one that, you know, I like. I like Indian food, but a lot of the Indian rations are always so uh, blah. They're blah, for lack of better terminology. So anyway, there's that. Um, 
what else what else was I thinking about? So anyway, Tuesdays and or Thursdays, potentially some different videos there. There will still be a snack video. So as of right now, the only thing that's changing is one day. There will still be a Monday morning coffee. Tuesday might switch up. We'll either see Tuesday or Thursday, um, but I'm going to stick with Tuesday for now. We'll have um, just a different video, and you'll see those as they come out. And then Wednesday still hot sauce. Thursday probably still a snack, and then uh, Friday will be a ration. And then the weekends, I'm probably just going to leave those blank unless I have a subscription box. But the subscription box might go on a Tuesday. I really don't know yet. Um, but I, I'm kind of feeling like leaving the weekends free. And although I do these in advance, it's not a huge deal. Um, again, I have to think about some of the economics of it. Uh, I mean, God, just in, in just a conversation about subscription boxes. I've been really disappointed with the subscription boxes. You know, ever since we started, I think the first one was BattleBox. And it, was, it, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. Um, and then I start looking at one recently. What was it called? Uh, something Crate. I don't know. It was something Crate or whatever. But it was literally the same stuff that was in past battle boxes. So it's like you're totally just battle box but named another company aren't you I don't know I don't get it but um, I've been watching other battle box reviews and it's it's just not good I think there was one that was that wasn't too bad uh, I don't remember when it was but it had a um, it had a a GPS unit in it and I don't remember the brand I don't remember too much but they did have a knife of the month which was okay um, so it wasn't bad, like, but one out of the past eight has been decent for me, just for me. Some of you might disagree, but I, I just didn't care for it. Um, you know, if you remember back a ways ago, I think it was last year I did survival boxes, like right before they sort of shut down to revamp and apparently they're back up and running and, uh, I'm almost afraid to engage in that. I don't really want to see what's new with survival boxes. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. But um, I think we're kind of running to the end of, of subscription boxes, unless there's something really cool. Because even monthly knife club, I started to realize that this is giving me good knives, but I really don't want these knives. Like I want other knives. You know, I did a knife video. And I dropped it on the worst day possible. I dropped it on a Saturday, but the thing was, apparently YouTube was having all sorts of trouble with their algorithms and their likes because there's still a message that say that says, ah, you know, your likes are completely messed up on this video. And, you know, it didn't do like any viewership, which, I mean, we don't have huge viewership here. I, we, I definitely appreciate the viewers that come through, but it's not like we break a million every video or anything. And that's that's fine. We're still little. We're still a small channel, but we are growing. So that's, uh, that's actually really cool. Um, but anyway, I did the knife video and those are the kind of knives that I like. And they were all under 50 bucks. So I don't need a box to give them to me. <laughs> uh, but... Going Gear EDC has actually been pretty good. I, I've liked a lot of it, although some of you dogged on it. Some of you have dogged on it. Oh, and by the way, just one last comment from uh, for the um, the Inception value uh, from our last uh, re reading and reacting to comments video. So, hey, hey, Mark Swisher, listen. I'm so des uh, this is what he said. I'm so desperate for entertainment that I watched a guy comment on comments. Can't wait for the comments on the comments on the comments show. And then I wrote, now I've commented on a comment from a reaction to comment videos. Now I'm going to comment on a comment on a comment on a comment reaction videos. What I don't know. I've probably lost the train. Inception, Mark. Uh, there you go. So feel free to comment on this video so we can keep that going. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, I, 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 I think I, I think I've probably yacked enough about random stuff. So let's just uh, let's dive into a few comments. Okay. 
Uh, let's see here. We actually have a few weeks to get through because it's been a little while. Uh, let's see. So we had um, Monday morning coffee break. We had the, the G7 uh, three-in-one coffee, which I just realized. Oh, what a dope. <laughs> when I named this video, I had a three and then in one and I spelled out one. I'm fixing that. That's super dumb. <laughs> That's so dumb. Okay. Uh, so this was, um, this was one that was, uh, recommended by, I want to say it was Kaylin Strain, I'm pretty sure. And I think she has a channel, which coincidentally, Kaylin, I haven't forgot about you. I am going to send you that coffee. I've just been really lazy and I haven't been to the store. So I'll get back to you and I'll get it out to you as soon as possible. I haven't forgot about it. But she loves this coffee. Uh, I remember in the video it had a weird taste to it. I think it was just a creamer, so it wasn't really my my bag. But I'll, I'll get that out to her. I like to get things to people who want them. Uh, let's see here. Cody Ross, I chuckled when you talked about the smell. When I first started drinking this, I noted that the smell like it smelled like uh, boiled hot dogs and water. Ew. <laughs> I've, I've, I've never boiled hot dogs. I know people do boil hot dogs, but I've never boiled a hot dog. I, bo I mean, I boiled a sausage, like a bratwurst in beer, and then put a grill mark on it, but never never just a hot dog. I mean, I guess that's because the hot dogs I eat are not like real hot dogs, which is a hot dog even real? I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's see here. Awesome username, JMW underscore VN. I <laughs> uh, have to say I'm aligned with your comment on this and much prefer the Nescafe version. So yeah, the Nescafe 3-in-1 is pretty good. You get those in Canadian IMPs, I, I think, still. I've had them in the past, but but yeah, I get it. Uh, let's see here. Planes Flyer, a good review. Bought the G7, another brand. Vina Cafe at a local Asian supermarket. Uh, but he's, uh, <laughs> he's planning on uh, saving them to barter in the apocalypse. Not a bad idea. Vina Cafe, I might have to look that up. I, don't rem I actually don't remember in there. Uh, Mark Swisher, Asian three and ones use two forbidden ingredients for me, sugar and non-dairy creamer. Trust me, I get it. I'm one of those people that has cut out sugar on a pretty wide scale for my diet and it's, that's the right thing to do. Uh, Dub C was a little nervous when you were hesitant to tell us uh, what it smells like. Uh, yeah, I'm not a creamer and sugar fan. Yeah. I mean, I, if, if the coffee's good, it really doesn't need creamer or sugar for my, for my, or from my perspective. Uh, next up, we had the Quest Peanut Butter Chocolate Chip Cookie. This was one that was uh, suggested by my friend Rebecca Rovney, who has an awesome uh, channel, music channel, where she plays violin and, and covers songs. Very talented musician. Uh, and she, this was her cookie. Uh, but she did say here, I was about to go up in arms to defend my beloved cookie. But then I tried the bars, and I agree, the bars are better. And, and yeah, I, I think from Quest, it's kind of like RX. RX bars aren't very good, at least in my opinion, but their um, nut butters are really good, uh, which is essentially about the same thing. But anyway, uh, yeah, the bars, Quest bars are just better. I don't know, I, I don't really know why that is, but anyway. Uh, Carla Zimmerman, nice review. I use Stevia a lot, so I enjoy the taste. Oh, this was the Stevia thing. I think I made a Stevia comment and I got all the Stevia people out here. Uh, Tim Terrell, Stevia doesn't bother me. Uh, he, he drinks a stevia-based soda called Zevia, real original, uh, and it looked like a few people agreed. Uh, Carla agreed with him. I just don't like the taste of sque uh, squevia, stevia. I'm, uh, now I'm making up names. I, I, it's it's just so blatant for me. It's like people who who don't like um, cilantro. They say it tastes like soap. I love cilantro, but there are people who think it tastes like soap. And it's stevia. It just sticks out like a sore thumb. It's not good. Um, yeah, so let's uh, let's go ahead and move on to <laughs> the Old Bay hot sauce. Old Bay making hot sauce. The funny thing is, is I, I bought that on Amazon and then I had never seen it in a store before. And immediately, the next time I go to the store, they have it. It was probably there all along, honestly. Uh, Dub C, I wasn't thinking they would make this hot, but thought it would have a signature flavor. Uh, that's what I thought too, man. Uh, Carl Zimmerman had no idea. Old Bay had hot sauce. Uh, always use the powdered when I do crab boils. Yeah, I mean, that's what most people do is is uh, seafood or uh, yeah, anything seafood, crab boil. 
Uh, second A Dad, uh, we love Old Bay seasoning on seafood exclusively. I like Tony Shasher. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how this is, this is, but I think it's like Shasheries or, or I, Chashares. I'm not sure, but it's it's like the Creole seasoning, and I do use that as well. Um, I got that slap your slap your mama uh, like Cajun seasoning in the cooking panda box, so I've been using that here and there. Um, but yeah, the the whatever Tonys, I'm just gonna say Tonys. That's actually good too, but they, they were actually very similar. Uh, Mark Swisher, I have Old Bay and hot sauces. I don't want those two things combined. Totally agree. Um, Garrick's Ration Reviews, that sauce is great. I have six bottles in my cabinet. In Maryland, it's very hard to get. And when stores get it, they put a limit on it. That's actually really interesting. I, And I feel like there's a comment somewhere down the road of a hot sauce that was really common in Maryland. Anyway, yeah, that's you would think it would be more prevalent in Maryland, like on the on the the actual East Coast, because of the seafood. Eh, anyway, uh, next up the peanut butter cup uh, Quest snacks, which are were good. Those are gone. I ate the crap out of those. Those were so good. Um, Dub C, I've seen those in stores. Wondering how they hold up. Good craving killer. Absolutely. Good craving killer, nice chocolate. I would love to see them in stores because I would buy them. Uh, Tim Terrell, good review. I want to try one. You totally should. Amazon sells them. They're a little bit pricey though. Uh, let's see here. So then we started into another nutrient survival ration, and this was mac and cheese. Uh, Dub C, oh no, runny mac and cheese. I want mine so thick I could flip it like a DQ blizzard. You know, but my problem with that is, is it, it just Everything is like a coalescent blob, and I personally don't like that. I do like a little runny mac and cheese, but I think that's because that's how my grandma made it for me. She made it runny, and it's like a little little cheese soup. I like it. Uh, Moochie95, now I'll pass on the nutrient, uh, the nutrient survival meals, in quotations, not my cup of tea. Totally get it. Uh, Paul Kastner, spiral noodles have more surface. That helps rehydration. Okay. Let's talk about this because I am so tired of this. Uh, no offense, man. I to I understand where you're, you've you got your noodle propaganda from, okay? But this isn't the first time people have commented this. So there is a trend in a lot of uh, mac and cheese and other pasta-based uh, menus to use the same spiral noodle. And it's a very weak spiral noodle. It's the lamest spiral noodle I've ever seen. I have done a lot of rations, I, a lot of reviews. I've eaten a lot of rations. I've seen macaroni noodles all over the place. And guess what? They rehydrate the exact same. From experience, I see no difference. Now, listen. In theory, okay, but think about a, mac, think about a macaroni noodle. All right? Let's think about this for a second. It has a hole through it. The water can contact all sides. I'm not a scientist, by the way, and I could be totally talking crap, but I did spend over 10 years in the food service industry. So I know a thing or two about food, and that, honestly, it's not, it's not, in practice, it's not as accurate as you think it is. But if you're going to give me spiral noodles, I want a tight, tight spiral, like a tight spiral. That might give you trouble. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, coffee. We did another Kusa coffee, the vanilla dark roast, which was not as good as the light roast. Um, so you dub see another interesting coffee. I got some Bones coffee. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Dub. Dub. I feel so bad for Dub because he's like, he said like weeks ago, he put in an order for um, coffee from Bones and it got held up. Dude, I hope you got your coffee. I really do. Um, let's see here. There were a couple that didn't have really heavy comments. Oh, uh, Wednesday heat check. The, the clam lubes, this, this hot sauce, I had no idea what the name of it was. There were so many different names. I bought these sauces from, uh, it's fire and flavor, I think is the business in downtown Columbus, but they're all Madstone sauces. Like the brand is like Madstone, but the brand of the sauce is clam lube. 
So it's like clam lube sea ghost vivacious verde verde hot sauce. It's like I don't need that many names. I hate when hot sauces do that. Um, this was an okay. Uh, it was an okay hot sauce. Uh, dub dub C suspense on the heat check. Uh, always good to verify because the ghost pepper label can be super deceiving. Absolutely, and sometimes sometimes ghost pepper isn't a ghost pepper. Uh, Plains Flyer Asian Supermarket here carries a line of hot sauce hot sauces by uh, by uh, I don't know. There's there's consonants in there. There's vowels. I don't know. Their ghost pepper smell uh, sauce smells tastes like Tabasco but hot. That's another one that I wanted to look up. I forgot to save that. I will uh, I will look into that. I, I do like Tabasco. It's a good overall sauce. I did get in another another one of the Rip Van Waffles, the cookies and cream. Those things are just so darn dry, but they are good. The cookies and cream, if you, the Rip Van Waffle, uh, Stroop Waffle, the cookies and cream is the only one worth getting. Anything else is just garbage. No offense, but seriously. Um, oh, and then we had a new, a new ration. We had the Fire Pot Foods Chili Con Carne with Rice. Uh, I remember being a little bit disappointed by this particular one. Uh, a couple of you uh, seem to enjoy the video, though. Uh, DC, that's it. That's the username. D space C. There you go. Uh, no chemicals in the ingredients. It's from the UK. American food is so processed we expect it. And that's true, but I, I do want to point out preservatives are in a lot of food all over the world. Now, you are correct that there is a lot of preserved crap food in the U.S. I mean, no offense, I know a lot of people love American cheese, but American cheese, the only, the only place American cheese belongs is on a burger. Or one piece, and I, I've even dialed down on this because like one piece on a grilled cheese, like one craft single does enough. I'm not using it for anything else. I'm not eating it, but I do remember as a kid like eating craft singles. But we do. We do have a lot of processed food here in the U.S. And there are, there's a lot of stuff that we use that in other countries is not allowed. But don't let, but just to be fair across the board, everywhere has their preservatives. And some of those long names that you see on packaging is not actually bad. It's just a preservative. And we do need preservatives or you wouldn't be able to... Uh, to have much just saying all right moving on uh let's see dub c another pack i have not uh seen always finding new things uh so yeah i mean i try and find new stuff this was something that popped up on rei on their website i have one or two of them i think i only have two of them or one left after this so we'll get into another one uh, Mark Swisher, try the beef stew and spicy pork versions, and we'll see if blandness prevails through the line. I will look into it. I'll look into it. You know, to be honest with you, off the top of my head, I can't even remember what the other one is, So, but I'll try. Uh, let's see here. John Morris, good morning. 1 a.m. here. Well done as always. I don't know if you're on the East Coast, but yeah, I do post these at 1 a.m. Eastern time just because. <laughs> I don't know. It gives a full day. I do that because it literally gives a full day for the video to be viewed. And for some odd reason, it just, it does. It gets a few more views. So, all right, moving on. We've got the Going Gear EDC uh, box for April or bag for April. And I was, I was happy with this. I thought it was a cool one. Um, and it, it actually picked up some good views. So thank you for that. Uh, D Boz 72 sweet pack. You're right. Uh, Kalen strain that spoon looks like a Chinese style soup spoon. And I didn't think about that, but you're right. It really does. It kind of has that, that dip. It's nice and big. I still would find it difficult to eat out of, uh, Brian Cooper. Haven't gotten mine yet, but gotta say I'm very disappointed already. I will not be ordering from them anymore. Ah, eh, sorry, man. I hate to hear that. Obviously, um, I think that there are some people that expect Going Gear EDC to be EDC gear all the time. And that pack was definitely more backpacking. Stuff that you wouldn't necessarily do every day. 
I mean, you could use that pack every day. Although, to be honest with you, I, I don't know. I don't know if it would work. It wouldn't work for me for an ev uh, everyday pack. And I could talk about that in another video. But, yeah, sorry to hear that. I'd love to hear what you think would be uh, good for a box, though. Uh, Brandy Kaufman, nice backpack, nice review. Thank you. <laughs> Dude, That that is not your name. <sighs> what a dork. I'm reading this, too. Booger butt and booger butt food fun in it cuts off. I don't even nice backpack. Thanks, man. You have a ridiculous channel name. What is up with that? Um, planes flyer. I reached a point long ago. I find the small tooth zippers on anything to be essentially worthless. Something gets caught in them. Yeah, I, I understand. And that did. It had some smaller zippers. I think I sort of zoned in on that. Totally get it. Uh, lay rate, I think. Uh, Vargo are very much the top end of the market. Also been around for a long time. Same generation as Burghaus, um, Coleman, North Face. So, yeah, I mean, I understand. Uh, but it doesn't give them... I, I Their stuff is too expensive for what it is. The Vargo tent stakes are really popular for a lot of people in the backpacking community. But I use MSR Groundhogs. They're cheaper. I'm pretty sure they're still cheaper. But like I want to say in that video, the, the Vargo whistle was said to be like 13 bucks. I'm not paying $13 for a titanium whistle. I'm just not doing it. Because I know I could I, I know that I can get that similar whistle cheaper. But yeah, Vargo, I mean, Vargo's fine. I'm not gonna knock them. They do make good quality gear. I think it's just too expensive. Uh, Jack of all trades. Uh you're gonna make me read this German name again, and I can't. I I still haven't really like looked it up to see. Uber Leben. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, makes a good 12 ounce wooden cup. The spoon, not so much. Dude, I want to check into that. I want I want to see this wooden cup. I don't know why, but I want to see it. So I'm gonna check that up. Um, John Morris. He didn't think that this was worth 66 bucks. Said maybe 25. Um. Yeah, I think he just wasn't impressed with the pack. I think the pack was great. Gossamer Gear is an awesome brand, and you're going to do pretty hard to get better than just having Gossamer Gear. It's a good brand. Uh, let's see. Okay, moving on here. We'll, we'll go through a couple more videos from this past week. Uh, Bones Coffee Company, the electric unicorn. I forgot I even had this. Uh, yeah, here was Dub C. He sat his order still hadn't come in. Dude, I hope you got your order. Uh, Kalen Strain, add a little milk and you got yourself a breakfast in a cup. It, that was a really interesting coffee because it really did taste like fruity cereal. It was pretty amazing. Um, Murray Barber, interesting idea. i definitely try it, but I like my good old-fashioned coffee. I, I, totally, I totally remember, or I totally recognize that. Uh, oh, I, I, sorry, I was trying to get the rest of the comment because it was hidden. Uh, apparently, I, I this was the video I made the comment about walking through like a department store and you get sprayed by perfume. Apparently, he, he also remembered it too. That's that's funny. Um, but, but anyway, yeah, the good old fashioned coffee. I totally understand that. Sometimes it's good just have your standard cup, but it's also nice to try something new every now and again. Don't get stuck in the mud. I guess is what I'm saying. Uh, oh, the solely fruit jerky, the banana and cacao. That was an interesting review. Those are those are interesting. Dub C talks about some fruit roll-ups. It's kind of a fruit roll-up, uh, sort of, a bit more dense. Uh, Frankie Steele gives the gives the couple wavy wavy emojis. How's it going, bud? Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, Wednesday heat check. We had the crystal hot sauce, which I feel dethrones Louisiana hot sauce. I actually really like the crystal hot sauce. It is a super duper tamed down version of most table hot sauce. Perfect table hot sauce. I can see that thing being splashed over all the fried foods. And you know what? It did really good in my little tiny corn quesadilla dips for a couple weeks as I was using it. So yes. <laughs> and it's actually pretty reasonably priced too. Uh, where was that one? Okay, here is a comment I wanted to read here. So we had Jess G. I used to own a chicken shack and I kept crystal on the table for people who wanted a tiny bit of heat. It tastes pretty good on fried foods, but it's definitely not my first choice. Uh, Louisiana's tastes great on fried uh, seafood, so I kept it around for uh, that purpose as well. Yeah, makes total sense, man. You know, keep them both. But yeah, crystal, I don't know. Crystal is good. 
It's good. It's not hot though. It's I think I didn't compare it to Frank's. I think they're probably on the same spectrum, but I will say Crystal had this sort of like fruity, like a citrusy flavor to it, whereas Frank's is just very vinegar. Um, so they're two very different hot sauces, but Crystal, Crystal ranks up there, way up there for me. Uh, my YT Wash. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. It's a long, it's a long channel name. Hold on. My YT was hacked by a noob. I don't know if that was the username when he left this comment, but it is now. So if you got hacked by a noob, I don't know. I don't know what you do about that. But anyway, Mr. Noob, uh, try the Tabasco garlic cayenne. That one is amazing. I have put that on the list. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find it. It wasn't in my store when I checked. So I'm going to have to order it, but I'll find that one. The scorpion sauce was really good. Uh, Tim Terrell, Frank's is still a go-to in our house. I used to go to a seafood place that has since closed. Well, I know Jess said his, his place was a chicken shack, not a seafood shack, but he seemed to initiate that he had chicken or uh, seafood. Tim, did you go to Jess's chicken shack and maybe get seafood there? Uh, anyway, so the seafood place, they had crystal on the table. Absolutely loved it on Friday items, and he prefers the crystal over the Louisiana, so smart guy. Uh, I don't even know what the name of this is. Sorry, I don't even feel like trying to read it. Chris, oh, here's the one. Crystal is very popular here in Maryland, but personally, I prefer the less salty, more vinegary flavor of Tabasco. Totally understand. That's weird. I don't know if it's weird, but it's kind of interesting that um, that it's popular in Maryland. Very cool, though. And Johnny Gomez, always look forward to Wednesday heat checks. Uh, check uh, Grace hot pepper sauce is a good one to look into. I think I did look that one up, and I will get to that as soon as I can. Uh, last, uh, last comment section, we have the Sasquatch Fuel Southwest Mac and Cheese. Um, gun, gun Ginger. Uh, interesting idea with the jerky, but maybe bacon bits would be a bit better idea. Yeah, I could see that. It was novel. It was interesting. Uh, Thomas Benefield, uh, love when you try new brands. I just ordered a trial pack from Nutrient Survival. You should try them too. I have, and I have some more to do. Um, but yeah, thanks, man. I, I, I'm glad you're enjoying the the, the different, uh, different brands and so forth. Each treats and MREs, spiral noodles are always good. I find they rehydrate well. Nicely, nicely done video. You were edging the line, man. Don't make me don't make me launch into another surface area of noodle rant. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, Krista Stiver says cool. Raul Duke says first and looks good. So good job on being first, I guess. Um, one last thing I wanted to. So Tracy Miller and I. I'm pretty sure that Tracy's been viewing for a little while, um, but she had talked a little bit about. Uh, following the instructions on the package and I, and I want to address this real quick and I've been addressing it in the videos because I get these comments a little bit here and here and there so no disrespect taken by the way Tracy I totally I'm totally fine with the comment um, and and I get it I understand but I will say this one I'm not an instruction follower I'm just one of those people um, especially when it comes to food, I'm not a prime baker because I don't really like following concise const uh, instructions. I can bake and I can do it well when I feel like it. But when I do these rations, I've not only been doing it on YouTube for quite a while, but I've also been just doing it in life, you know, for the backpacking and hiking and everything for a while as well. So I know what I want to see out of a ration when when it's done, when it's rehydrated. So I know basically what I need to do with that. And it doesn't really matter if it's new or old because they all follow largely the same formula. So if you want to see very concise instructions, I'm, it's not my MO, it's never really been a part of the channel. Um, I try and be fair to those sort of things because I get it, but like it started a long time ago when I was watering down my drinks and making them in huge cups and everything because that's how I like it. Um, but I'll give you the most honest review that I can from my standpoint. But if for some reason that that doesn't really work, I totally get it. Um, 
and hopefully you enjoy some of the other videos that aren't so based on that sort of system. And to be honest, I'm surprised more people don't yell at me about the coffee because I just make that however I want. Uh, how, how much coffee you put in your French press? How much water? However much I feel like doing, man. It's just how I go about it. Um, but yeah, this isn't a super precise channel. Uh, I, uh, but again, I do try and give the most honest review that I can of the product that I'm doing. And, you know, hopefully that's good. Hopefully you get something out of it. And if you don't, I, I apologize, but I'm not going to change. So, uh, but again, I hope you keep watching. So that's it for comments. This is a super long video. Um, I do hope you enjoy this and I hope you enjoy some of the future co uh, content that will be sort of replacing one of the midweek snacks. Um, leave me suggestions down below. I would really love to hear from you guys if you have things that you'd like to see reviewed on the channel. It doesn't matter if it's coffee, although I do need coffee suggestions, so help me out with that. Coffee, snacks, uh, rations, hot sauce, uh, a subscription box that you think is really, really cool that I haven't done already, I would love to look into it. I'm still really bored. Pandemic's still on. I can't build any more guitars. I don't need more guitars to build, okay? Next, I'm going to be building guitar pedals. And yeah, that's going to be something that I'm going to be doing. And you know what? I might just start doing like the Lock Picking Lawyers YouTube channel and start trying to pick open padlocks or something because I'm bored. <laughs> But, but sincerely, help, help, me with, uh, help me with content ideas. I'd really, really love to see what you guys uh, think would be cool. And if you want to send something my way, again, not required. Um, I'm fine. I'll be okay. But if you do want to send something in, uh, like, like, uh, like Zed and, and, her, and her partner did, um, P.O. Box is down below in the description. It's always been there if you want to support. And, uh, you know, I don't really flash this and I don't really care, but I do have a Patreon. I think I have one Patreon supporter and I apologize, but I haven't shouted you out in like forever and I don't remember your name off the top of my head, so I apologize. But thank you for the support, Miss, one guy who still does. I, I appreciate that. But Patreon's out there if you want to support. I haven't really done anything with Patreon, but I also never had any real supporters on there. But anyway, that's a way you could support the channel if you want, but it's not mandatory. Just watch the videos. That's all I really care about. And uh, and comment. Let me know. Let me know how you like them, and 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 give me the suggestions. Um, and a lot of those just feed into these videos. Me commenting to comments to comments to reactions, to reacting to comments to reactions of comments. Uh, Inception mark. We'll get there eventually. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. But you guys have a great rest of your day, and preferably your week and your month and your year. We'll catch you on the next one. See ya.